morning everyone, Steve here. Another day on the farm. And the chickens out. Looks like I gotta get them some water. I need to dump that out too. But uh, let's see what we got for eggs. It looks like they're pretty busy. We got what, six, seven, eight, 11 so far today and they lay throughout the day so I'll just leave that there but uh, <clears throat> we did some work in the barn sorry I didn't film it I was short on time and oh, I got a hen in here it's like somebody spent the night out we got Here's our new chicks. Looks like they're getting along. <clears throat> so I blocked this off with some chicken wire. And so they're in here now. <clears throat> okay. Chick food here. So a new look. We got two openings. Put another opening over here, um, so they can get it in and out. And think about this. It looks like the ladder is kind of. So I'm gonna split this in half. I'm gonna have to move the ladder over. I'll just put it in the middle. And so that's where the little chicks are. We'll split this down the middle. I'll build another wall to the left of that window. And then this side will be for the laying hens and the, the uh, roosters and then the meat chicks. The meat chicks will be in here. Hey guys. How do you like your new digs? put some straw in there so it's not so rough on their feet although they look like they're doing pretty good all right but I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to this take this green mesh off it's catching the wind too much and I've been talking about it so I'm gonna do that today I'm going to do like a high-speed video of it, so uh, watch me work. see if that helps with the wind situation um it's got to help because it's a lot less area exposed to the wind so i think my theory is going to be right this will help but uh we got we got it all off two bundles of it i might use that inside to separate the chickens um i think they're used to it and it's I don't think they'll cut through it. It's pretty tough stuff. So I think I'm gonna use that inside to separate the stall in half for them. And uh, I think that'll work out. Might as well use the materials I have at hand. I got a bunch of one by sixes over here also. <clears throat> It was raining earlier. So I got these one by sixes. I'm gonna use these to uh, um, separate the two halves, plus put some skirting around, around the bottom here, all the way around, because they're undermining that pretty good all around. They get under their dusting. So this way I can seal that off a little better. I mean, they'll just keep digging at it, but 
Yeah, so, all right. I've been wanting to do that for a while. It took a little while, maybe 20 minutes. So, all right, catch you later. Well, here's the future garden, which is not looking that great, but stuff's coming up. I'm getting parsnips up. <clears throat> Uh, looks like some cucumbers are coming up in here. Let's see. Should be more cucumbers in here. These are broccoli, so I can probably start transplanting some of these. I got one, one zucchini and one summer, summer squash. Parsnip. That doesn't look like a parsnip, though. And that doesn't look like a parsnip. <laughs> And then that, that, that doesn't look like a tomato. So these are tomatoes and peppers, but they're not looking too good. This is looking really dry. These are watermelons too. So I need to water the watermelons. I just went to an Amish greenhouse. Oh, their plants are huge. I gotta figure out when to plant. I mean, we just came off with a heavy frost and people wiped out their plants on sitting on their deck. My neighbor did. So, what's under here? So this is what I did to protect the, protect from mice. Um, man, it looks like they still got in here. I don't know. Weasel on their way in. It's a little dry, not too bad though. But it's been cold and now it's 70 degrees out. Can't get a break. These hot and cold swings. Climate change apparently is what we're all told. So anyway, that's my garden. sitting on them too. I think I got some broody hens. Gotta watch that because they'll stop laying once they start getting in their broody mess. -ness. Uh, let's see. Any of these guys seem to be doing well. They're nice and big. They're about five weeks I think right now five weeks old and here's a garlic update they're looking pretty good oh they're about maybe 16 inches tall I would say and they're looking pretty good one thing I wonder about is I planted over here all of these uh, chestnut trees, and I'm not seeing anything, unfortunately. But I don't know if it's too soon yet. I'm not seeing anything that resembles a tree. Well, we'll just keep hoping. There's a little green something, but. Yeah, I don't see anything that looks like a tree. But garlic's doing well. And raspberries are doing fantastic too. And I've got to put in my asparagus. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to put two rows of asparagus right in here in this area. Um, so I'm going to plow that up with my little uh, tractor. Um, it's almost like a cultivator. I, I think it is a cultivator. So, but I put a lot of dead grass 
that I mowed up on this side. But you can see they're moving over. So I don't know if I want to just put more dead grass along the sides of this and just let them grow up alongside here and create another row just naturally because they're coming all the way out to this point right here, which is easily, I don't know, close to four feet from the center line of that one. So maybe that's what I'll do. Just start building grass out along this side. Um, it's a shame. I'd like to transplant a lot of that. You can probably, these are heirloom German variety I've talked about in the past videos. And so it'd be nice to, uh, because they're very resistant to, you know, insects and, and blight and whatever. So, yeah, got to think about it. But I mean, they're coming out way over here by these stakes. So they're way over here. And these are onions. So green onions. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just start building up grass, collecting it off the lawn. The lawn is growing like crazy. Um, I've been feeding the chickens some of it too. You know, raking it up. As you can see it got really really deep here so I raked it all up um, it's a lot of work I do have a bagger so I might use that if I can get some dry spells where it's not gonna get clumpy all right garden update come here, come here. here's Elvis <laughs> he's a very very sweet little dog we took him to the farmers market yesterday um, and uh, he had a lot of fun walking around, all the little kids petting him. There he is. Hi, bud. How you doing? Huh? What you have? Can? Yeah, cat food. Huh?